Guys, I'm under attack by High Bimbo Biliac Nation, okay? That's that's my temporary name. I realize this. We cannot keep calling the High Bimbo Biliac High Bimbo Biliac. Bruh. Can y'all subscribe? Yes, I did forget to say it in the video and now and here we are. Alex, let me get a filter. Let me just get Subscribe. I can't give people cool names when they're doing lame shit. And is it just me or is hybristophiliac kind of a cool name? Like we know the connotation is like not good, but it's like kind of a cool name, right? We need a new name. Like chat, what it, like my, the best thing I could come up with and I came up with it in 20 seconds is high bimbo filiacs because like I wouldn't want to be that. Like I would absolutely not want to be that. If I was 15 and I had no identity, I'd be like, yes, I am a hybristophiliac. You should fear me. My heart bleeds. So we got to get rid of that, right? Weirdos, no, we can't, no, <laughs> dumb <laughs> Okay, somebody in chat said criminal perverts. Come on, that is way too funny. Like, <laughs> see pervs. Anyways, dude, that sounds so creepy. <laughs> so if you missed it, this past week, Columbine was trending. Um, it was trending for some stuff related to like gun laws and the NRA. But when I started like digging through and, and like just looking through the tweets, because I was like, I woke up like, and I was like, oh, wow, why is Columbine trending? Well, in that, like in the trending tag, I started to find all of the hybrosophiliac Twitters. Now, I talked about this a little bit on Tuesday. And last week, I was on vacation. Like, I was gone. I was in the mountains. Like, I was just hard chilling up in the woods, not talking to nobody for a couple of days. And then I find this, and I'm scrolling through, and I had all my equipment. And so I was ready to do a video. I was like, oh, this is going to be funny. But then when I started scrolling through, some of these people have serious issues. They all had... Um, like hashtag TCC in their bio, like true crime community. And I was like, I'm in the true crime community. You guys are in the true crime community. I feel like the criminal perverts are like not in the true crime community. Like y'all are somewhere else. So like, <laughs> can we keep that label? And then like y'all, y'all, y'all go do your weird shit, but y'all need like a new label. <laughs> That is not the true crime community. Get out. Get out. <laughs> I started to record this video and I had actually reached out to a couple of them. I spoke to them because I speak to people like people. At least I try to, right? So I think I spoke to six or seven different criminal perverts. And um, I had like, I had like honest conversations with some of them. Some of them that ran like really big, like, you know, uh, like Columbine accounts and they were, okay. Now, <laughs> this is serious. This is serious. So there was one girl that I specifically messaged and I said, hey, I would really like to talk about you in a video. Do you want me to block your name out or use a different name? And this girl's response to me was, no, I don't use my real name for this. I don't care if you like put my accounts out there or anything. So through the weekend, I start getting these like really weird emails and like a couple of DMs, right? And these, <laughs> one I got was leave the true crime community alone destroy the child you don't know what you're getting into and I'm like well I'm, I'm in the true crime community I have my own true crime community and I've been on the internet for six years you need to be careful there you're gonna get doxxed corrupt them all you need to leave us alone we're gonna kill you and I'm like well hold on let's talk about this <laughs> So I, so over the weekend, I start getting like every now and then like these occasional emails. So you guys are emailing or messaging me. I hope you realize that if I didn't talk to you, you weren't going in my video. You're not that special. Okay. Second of all, the one person that DM'd me on Twitter from an alt account. Oh my God. Wait, let me, let me just say, I learned that this video I originally wanted to do on uh, criminal perverts, everything changed because this is actually a lesson for teenagers online in cybersecurity. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. This person emails me on this, or messages me on this private thing. It has like 29 followers and like 31 following or something. And it's like a Luca avatar. And they, they say to me, you better not mess with us. You don't know what you're getting. And like the way that they typed was like a period after like every four words. You have no idea, period. You will be destroyed, period. So I messaged this person back and I was like, hey, I'm, 
hey, I've gotten a whirlwind about inquiries, uh, a whirlwind of inquiries about my video that's supposed to be coming out this upcoming weekend. In order to keep everyone's concerns in line, can you please fill out this Google form? So I sent them a Google form. And of course, within seven minutes, they had filled out all of the questions. And then the slot at the very top had their email address because they were logged into their account. This is a lesson on cybersecurity for you <coughs> kids. Now, my question to you guys that are not in the criminal perverts arena is if you have alt accounts on something, let me ask you this. How many of your friends know what your alt is and they also know what your main account is? How many of you have had somebody like that that you're no longer friends with? Your identities are not private. They are not secret. You're not living in some secret world. Just as that kid messaged me on a different account, all I had to do was send him a link and he fell for it. And I'm not gonna do shit with that. I have your email address and it is your real email address. And now your email address is tied to that murderous serial killer account. What if you can't get a job in two years because you made a post about Richard Ramirez and how hot he was? You are sick. If you were part of a Harry Potter fandom and you went really hard on Twitter for eight years or you were an Ariana Grande stan and later on that gets leaked, totally fine. But if you were posting about some of the stuff that these kids are posting about and that gets tied back to you, that is on your record for life. You see people out here getting canceled for less 24 seven. If I find out that you are Richard Ramirez stan, I don't wanna fuck with you. you I'm going to be talking about the person that allowed, that basically said, yeah, you know, whatever. Um, I, I, don't, I need my name out there. But then also all of her little friends that are in this group chat that's called Trench Coat Mafia. So let me explain. This girl, who once again said that I could use her name, and this is not her first name, she goes by on Twitter the name Maria. Maria is a Richard Ramirez fan. Hardcore Richard Ramirez fan, apparently runs an Instagram account and then also runs this fan account. This is another thing that I thought was very strange. And I'm saying this to the girl that runs the Dylan Klebold account, and actually probably Maria that runs this account as well. You guys are very good at curating content and getting likes. You could have a career in marketing. Not with this. So this is, this is their group chat. And they said, <laughs> anyways, you're sick in the head. You can cut this <clears throat> now. This is coming from someone that has Nick's wife as their name. If you, Nicholas Cruz's wife are saying, you're sick in the head. You can cut this <clears throat> now. Get out, just get out. Bitch. That's all I want to do in this video is just pull you guys out of this little world and into reality. You can leave at any point. You can leave at any point. Delete your account and act like this never happened because this is bad. This is the most embarrassing phase of your life and it's all online. So then this girl says, I don't know what you guys want from me anymore. I've tried apologizing already. And Nick's wife says to leave. And then this other person who has a Ted Bundy photo says, I want you to KYS. And then the person screenshotting this that is exposing all of them, she liked that. The other person said, this is, this is just hilarious. So then the other girl that they're kicking out of the group says, I don't want to have a reputation of defending. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You, the hybristophiliacs, are kicking someone out of your group you're saying that they defended a pervert while you're defending murderers? Or they defended a pe- Y'all suck! If that, she should be with y'all! Come on now, let her back in! I, I didn't see every single screen cap, but then this girl gets kicked out of the group. <laughs> and then, I guess the rest of the group chat, Trench Coat Mafia, they start like, maybe they get upset with this girl Maria, okay? So this is like another, another girl. Now let's back, get back to Maria. Maria is the Richard Ramirez fan. After that, something strange happens, okay? This is where it gets good. <laughs> this, is, this is where it gets real good. Maria's next tweet is, you're all gonna regret what you did to me. Her next tweet, I'm already planning my homo side, so I don't really give an F. Seems like everyone in this group chat kicked this girl out or something like that and got upset, and then maybe, maybe they turned on Maria too. Look at that, all of you guys turning on each other. Oh my God, a group of people that glorify murderers. Who knew that there's gonna be some rotten apples in here? So then Maria gets upset and she starts threatening everyone that she is prepared to um, commit homicide and she doesn't really give an F. And then after that, Maria gets, 13 quote retweets. And then 
She quote retweets that thing and she says, everyone in the quote retweets has been added. She is plan she is planning. Your your group chats are not solid, okay? So if you're gonna do this, be an Ariana Grande fan or something that's not as embarrassing. Because if somebody hates you in this, and I, I'm saying this to the girls that are in these right now, if somebody hates you in this group, and let's say you just go through a three month phase of being an, uh, a Dylan Klebold stan, they can make that three months follow you for the rest of your life. What she does next is she tweets, okay, dot, 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 I just snapped out of it, dot, 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 WTF. I'm actually crying right now. WTF is wrong with me. Oh my God. Everyone, I'm so sorry. Oh my FG. I didn't mean to scare anyone and I would never want to hurt anyone. I think I'm just gonna stay off here and get some help because I'm pretty sure I was being possessed by something. This is embarrassing as <laughs> this is embarrassing, but I think we can all agree that Maria is in a pretty vulnerable state right now, right? She was already vulnerable by whatever happened to her in her life. She decides to enter this dark community thinking, oh, everyone else is dark like me. We're all gonna be homies. Well, they're all traumatized and hate her too or whatever and start treating her like <laughs> they kick her out of the group chat. So now she has run into this dark, kind of group and it has also rejected her. So this is definitely, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt Maria too. YTF did I make a hit list? The police came to my house. I anticipated that the police would get involved and that something like this might happen. Oh my God, it's so crazy to me. It's, it's so crazy that y'all think your alt accounts are not only private and not tied to your main accounts, but they found her real name and address and sent the police to her house. Oh my God. After I saw these posts by Maria, I shot her a message and um, she said that I could talk about it. And then like an hour later, she started posting more Richard Ramirez fan content. <laughs> I hope they come over to the light side because it, dude, man, imagine you meet somebody, a brand new friend, okay? Just, just, just somebody and you've, you've known them for about six or seven months and they're so sweet and they're so nice and they're so cool. And you talk to them like every week or like every other week or something, they're so cool. And then like one day that you just find out that like somebody sends you a message and is like, Hey, by the way, be careful of Maria. She used to run this really strange account where she would always talk about killing people and her homicidal nature. And then they send you the account. And now your new friend that you've known for six months, you're like, could you ever look at that person the same way again? Could you ever? One in the chat, if that would change your perspective on them. Two in the chat, if you feel like you'd be able to overlook that and like just see it as a phase. A lot of people aren't gonna see that as a phase. So I, I definitely, yeah. I just, guys, be careful. Seriously, be careful.